Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how we can transfer data from an Excel to a SharePoint list using Power Automate. So this is our list. You can see it is currently empty and it has three columns, ID, employee and the department. And this is the Excel from where we are going to read data. And you can see here again, this Excel also has three columns, title, employee and the department. So we'll read data from this Excel and we'll transfer data to this list. And one more thing, I have stored my Excel in the SharePoint document library so that Power Automate can easily access the data source instead of, you know, struggling a lot. Uh, so let's start with the Power Automate. Here, you know, you need to add three actions. Basically, I'm triggering this manually. That's why I have added the manual trigger. Or you could use the recursive or the, you know, automated uh, trigger. That's up to purely, you know, business requirement. Now, the ne next action is list row present in a table. This is the action which is going to, you know, fetch data from an Excel and store that data into JSON format. And further on, we're going to use that JSON format data uh, in our further action. So what are the things you need to define in this action? Location, location of your, uh, basically the site or uh, what is the address of your uh, site where the file is present. Then the uh, document library name. So you, you, you can select your document library, available document library from uh, this drop down and uh, finally you need to select your file from that document library uh, which is your data source now what this table is basically uh, before you know executing this uh, this power automate you need to first customize your data or format your data as a table because Power Automate, you know, just read objects. It, it it cannot read directly rows or, you know, it would be tough to, uh, you know, differentiate between empty row and the use row. So the best practice is to first customize or format your data as a table, which you can quickly do just by selecting your data like this. And here you have an option format as table and you can quickly leverage this functionality and convert your data into uh, you know an object which which is e easily uh, power automate can read so after defining this uh, the next step is to add the for each control and uh, you need to pass the value value variable here is basically the output of the previous action so you can define uh, value here and as it is a collection of rows or uh, it, it is basically a collection so uh, it will you know uh, iterate row by row and at the same time we are using send an http request to sharepoint uh, and we are uh, using this action to store data in sharepoint list one by one so what you need to define in this section, site address, what is the address of your site and the method here, you know, we have certain methods get put post, but uh, every verb has their own uh, meaning and the use. So in our case, we are posting data. So we'll use post and you need to define the URI. This is basically a REST API predefined format where uh, you just need to change the title of your list here and uh, you are good to go now next uh, field is header uh, be focused while you know uh, filling out the headers because most of the times we uh, we face many errors because of you know not defining properly header so be focused while you are defining headers now the next section is body this is something again a predefined this is 
uh, again predefined statement you just need to change this sp dot data dot uh, your list term and to find out your list term there is a best way it's just you need to you know copy this URI let's say and paste in your search bar and pass in the address of your list uh, your site uh, let me show you step is your body section in body okay. so these are the columns which we are going to populate in our backend SharePoint list the title employee name department and the values these values are dynamic coming from the previous action and we are uh, iterating row by row and uh, fetching the data and populating in the SharePoint list now let me quickly run it so I am executing it It will take some time because in the Excel there is a lot of data. There are approximately 2000 records. So it will take some time. Have patience. As you can see, you know, uh, one by one, it is populating data in our backend list. You can see the count, uh, it is 82. In this way, you can post data from an Excel to a SharePoint backend list using Power Automate. Thank you so much for watching this episode and feel free to comment below uh, for any question or query this is the end result as you can see our flow ran successfully thank you so much for watching